The Chinese are trending with raising mouse deer, a tiny yet mysterious creature. Is this an exotic hobby or a threat to this rare species? Leave our one if you're also curious about this strange animal. The mouse deer is a small animal that resembles a deer but is only the size of a mouse. It has a petite appearance, looks like a deer, but lacks antlers. With slender legs, a slim body, and large, round eyes, it has an adorable look. The mouse deer, also known as the chevrotain, is a shy and small creature that primarily inhabits dense tropical forests in Southeast Asia, including Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and Malaysia. In China, they can be found in the Zhishuangbanna region of Yunnan province. This species prefers environments with dense undergrowth and proximity to water sources, allowing them to hide and forage easily. They are mostly nocturnal and tend to live alone. When kept in captivity, enclosures should mimic their natural habitat, with an area of about 2 to 5 square meters per animal, including trees, soft soil, and a clean water source. The ideal temperature ranges from 22 to 28 degrees Celsius, with humidity levels around 70 to 80 percent, ensuring the mouse deer can grow and thrive. In China, the mouse deer primarily feeds on leaves, fruits, flowers, fungi, and other soft vegetation. They can also consume small insects and even crustaceans if found in their natural habitat. Due to their small size, each mouse deer eats only a small amount of food, around 100 to 150 grams per day, depending on living conditions. In captivity, they are typically fed leafy greens, fruits such as bananas and apples, along with fiber-rich supplements to aid digestion. Mouse deer are prone to digestive issues and pneumonia if kept in damp environments or given unsuitable food. They are also at risk of parasitic infections, such as mites and worms, so it is essential to maintain a clean enclosure and conduct regular health checkups. Regarding reproduction, mouse deer can give birth year-round, with a gestation period of approximately 140 to 177 days, typically producing only one offspring per litter. Their breeding cycle is not restricted by seasons, allowing them to reproduce at any time of the year. When selecting breeding mouse deer, choose healthy individuals with firm bodies, smooth fur, and no signs of illness. They should be in good physical condition, with well-developed muscles and an appropriate weight. Females should have a full, rounded abdomen, while males should be strong and well-developed. Each time they give birth, mouse deer usually have only one offspring, and the birthing process is quick, so there is no concern about overpopulation. When a mouse deer gives birth, 
it is crucial to keep the enclosure clean and quiet to prevent stress. After birth, the mother will care for her young, nursing and keeping it warm. Newborns can stand and walk within a few hours, helping them quickly adapt to their environment. At around six to eight months old, mouse deer are ready to be moved from their enclosure. When capturing mouse deer, the process should be done in low light conditions. Dim lighting helps reduce panic and makes it easier to catch them. After being caught, mouse deer are placed in a breathable bag with leaves inside to help them feel safe and comfortable during transportation. In the Chinese market, the price of a mouse deer ranges from $30 to $50 per animal. In recent years, the demand for rare animals has been increasing, especially in China, where the market is always seeking unique species with high economic value. The mouse deer is one of the most sought-after animals due to its rarity and distinctive appearance. Its high market value is not only attributed to its scarcity, but also to the economic benefits it provides. The fur, skin, and meat of the mouse deer are highly valued, particularly in the handicraft and culinary industries. Its meat is believed to have nutritional benefits, while its skin and fur can be used in the production of luxury goods. In Chinese cuisine, mouse deer meat is a traditional delicacy that is widely enjoyed and featured in many regional specialties. Although not as common as pork or chicken, mouse deer meat still holds an important place in signature dishes. It is prepared in various ways, from stir-fried and stewed dishes to steamed delicacies, offering a unique and exotic flavor that attracts food enthusiasts who appreciate China's rich and diverse culinary traditions. As a result, mouse deer has become an increasingly valuable commodity, making its farming a highly promising business model. If you found this interesting, leave a one in the comments below. In the world of high-end pet enthusiasts, many consider the mouse deer a unique, rare, and symbolic animal representing luxury. With its small size, sleek fur, and elegant appearance blending traits of both a deer and a mouse, this species easily captures the attention of those fascinated by exotic animals. The mouse deer not only brings novelty to the pet world, but also reflects the owner's status. Additionally, some believe that keeping a mouse deer at home can bring good luck and prosperity according to feng shui principles. Certain conservation organizations are working to breed mouse deer in an effort to protect the species from extinction. By studying their behavior, habitat, and reproduction, experts aim to develop solutions to sustain wild populations while reducing pressure from illegal hunting. Don't take your eyes off the screen, let's continue exploring another adorable animal. While raising mouse deer and other rare animals is becoming a new trend, keeping cats has always been a popular and lasting hobby.
With their cute appearance, independent yet affectionate nature, cats have become one of the most beloved pets in the world. Cat farms are typically designed to be spacious and clean, providing comfortable areas for play and rest. Cats adapt well to warm, quiet environments, with an ideal temperature range of about 20 to 26 degrees Celsius. They are independent animals that love climbing, prefer high spaces, and need hiding spots when necessary. On farms, cats are provided with a well-balanced diet along with clean sanitation areas to ensure their health. Cats are carnivores, and their primary diet consists of chicken, fish, beef, and specially formulated nutritious cat food. Additionally, they can eat certain vegetables like carrots and pumpkin to supplement fiber. When caring for cats, it is essential to ensure they have a well-balanced diet, clean water available at all times, and to avoid feeding them toxic foods such as onions, garlic, and chocolate. Cats also require regular grooming, routine health checkups, and vaccinations to prevent diseases. The cat breeding industry is not just about owning a pet, it has created a massive business ecosystem. One of the most rapidly growing sectors is the sale of pedigree cats, with prices ranging from a few hundred to several thousand dollars, depending on rarity. Expensive breeds like the Savannah Cat can cost up to $20,000 per cat due to their wild appearance and large size. Notably, China is becoming one of the most promising markets, with a high demand for imported Western cat breeds such as the British Short Hair, Persian, and Ragdoll, catering to the pet-owning preferences of the upper class. The cat breeding industry has evolved into various models, meeting the diverse needs of pet lovers. Raising cats in households is the most common practice, where they are treated as family members, receiving care and affection. Pedigree cat farms focus on breeding and selling rare and valuable breeds to meet market demand. Additionally, Cat cafes offer a unique business model that combines beverage service with a relaxing space filled with cats, attracting many animal-loving customers. Leave a zero if you don't like this video. Although the cat breeding industry is thriving, it also faces numerous challenges and concerns. Health risks are among the top issues, as cats can contract rabies, skin fungi, and infectious diseases if not properly vaccinated and cared for. Additionally, ethical concerns spark debate, as some places engage in excessive confinement or illegal cat trading, particularly with rare breeds. Furthermore, the number of abandoned cats is steadily increasing due to owners being unable to provide proper care or losing interest over time, leading many animal rescue organizations to step in.